Now, see example 1, an object travels 20 meter in 4 seconds and another 20 meter in 2 seconds, what is the average speed of the object? So, see here, total distance first to find, this is 20 meter and 20 meter, it is very simple example. So, total distance is equal to 40 meter, then total time, total time taken is 4 plus 2 that is 6 seconds. So, now what is average speed? Average speed is equal to 40 meter divided by 6 second, we can cancel it is here simply this is uh, 20 and this is 3. So, 20 upon 3 meter per second. So, now you can also write here 6.6 6 meter per second. So, this is average speed of the object. Now, see next example. See in this example, a man goes to market from his house covering 2 kilometer distance in 30 minutes and comes back in another 30 minutes. What is, uh, what is average speed and average velocity of man? So, now see here, first to find total distance. So, total distance is say 2 kilometer going to market and 2 kilometer while coming back. So, 2 kilometer plus 2 kilometer that is equal to 4 kilometer. Now, total time, total time is equal to 30 minute while going plus 30 minute while coming back that will become 60 minute is equal to 1 hour. Now, what is average speed? So, average speed is equal to total distance upon total time that means, 4 kilometer divided by 1 hour is equal to 4 kilometer per hour. So, kilometer per hour can be also used to represent uh, speed. Now, we can write average velocity. So, average velocity is equal to total displacement upon total time. So, now see what is total displacement in this case? A man has gone to his uh, uh, gone to market and coming back it means initial and final position is same. So, total displacement is 0 divided by total time is 1, 1 hour that will be equal to 0. So, average velocity is 0. So, here an example where average speed is non-zero, whereas average velocity is zero. So, now these were two simple examples. Now, see the next example which is slightly difficult one or you can say which slightly needs more you know skill to solve it. So, you try to do that example. See in this example, a car travels certain distance with a speed of 40 kilometer per hour and comes back with a speed of 50 kilometer per hour. What is his average speed and average velocity? Say in this question, you are not given distance and also you are not given time. You have to calculate average speed as well as average velocity for which we need total distance as well as total time. Both are missing here. So, now we have to solve this question by assuming distance let it be x, y, whatever you want you can assume. Suppose, object goes A to B, this distance is suppose x kilometer and the man is going, uh, sorry car is going with a speed of 40 kilometer per hour A to B, while coming back the speed is 50 kilometer per hour. So, now see here 
while going traveling distance x while coming back traveling distance x. So, you can find total distance. So, total distance covered or you can write traveled is equal to x plus x kilometer that is 2 x kilometer. What is total time? So, now we know speed is equal to distance upon time. So, we can write time is equal to distance upon speed. Here we have calculate we have assumed distance x. So, we can now calculate time. So, while going a to b time will be distance upon speed that means x upon 40 while coming back b to a time will be x upon 50. So, total time can be written total time is equal to x upon 40 plus x upon 50 that should be here 200 LCM. So, we can write 5 x plus 4 x that is 9 x by 200 hour. So, this is total time taken here 9 x by 200 hour. So, we can calculate average speed, average speed this is total distance divided by total time. So, we can write average speed is equal to 2 x divided by 9 x by 200, 200 will come up here as a numerator this x x will get cancelled. It is 400 by 9 is equal to 44.4 kilometer per hour. So, this is average speed. Now, we can calculate average velocity. So, average velocity can be written total displacement upon total time. You know the body has gone to the certain distance and come back again to the same position. So, displacement is 0 and whatever is the total time taken that you can write here 9 x by 200. So, that will be equal to 0. So, average velocity is 0 whereas, average speed is 44.4 kilometer per hour. So, in this case this type of example where distance and time both are missing you can assume distance and you can calculate all these things. So, these are the examples related to average speed, speed and velocity and average velocities. Now, one more thing is here some student may assume 40 plus 50 divided by 2 they can take average of these two speeds like you know they can write directly average speed is equal to 40 plus 50 divided by 2 that is 90 kilometer per hour. So, sorry not 90 that is uh, 90 divided by 2. So, it is here 45 kilometer per hour. They can write and also you can commit this mistake, but see this formula is not applicable here. This is wrong concept for this. This formula only can be applied if the speed is changing at constant rate or velocity is changing at constant rate. If a speed and velo velocity is not changing at constant rate, you cannot apply this formula. So, do not try to use this formula in this type of the question unless you are given rate of change of velocity is constant that remains same. That means, we can say actually acceleration is uniform which we will do later on, but for applying this formula be careful.